Hey, Oli, uh, what appealed to you about Detroit? Well, I think it's an exciting time, especially for when you look at the team. Uh, obviously, they're they're young, but like I, th I think when you see the players they already had before the free agency started, now adding adding a bunch of big big pieces, I think that's a that's a great place and it's an exciting time. And I, you can definitely everybody knows you can definitely see it. Like they're 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 up and coming and they're they want to be contenders. I think there's a big step there, and I, I want to be part of it. You were just on a team that kind of took that step a year ago in LA from kind of rebuilding to turn the corner. What gives you that confidence that that Detroit's in a similar spot? No, I think when you look at what they how they built the team, and I know Steve Eisenman knows how to build a team. He's he's uh, he's done before. When you look at the young guys, how they how they've drafted, um, well, like they they're they're already they're young, and both the players that who are young, like they they're already like top players in the league. You could look at look at Cider, Larks. Uh, Bertuzzi, those guys, and and now you now you add in Caron, Sherrod, uh, definitely Cop, Copper, uh, definitely want to be part of it, and I think that's that's when you look at it, it just it just feels right. What were the most important changes you noticed in in LA this year that allowed you guys to to take that step? Well, I think we added a couple of couple of pieces. Uh, we got uh, Danilo and now Arvidsson. I think those were really big pieces for us. We we had more depth. And I think everybody being more comfortable with the system, um, and uh, and obviously I, I think the depth was the biggest thing. I, I, we, we were a good team before, but we didn't have a have that two three lines that we play. And I think last year, last year we found that. And it's hard to play against when you have when you're gonna roll with three four lines and you you got three D pairs who can play. Um, you, it's tough to match up against that. And then last thing for me, what, what do you think the biggest thing you'll bring to the blue line now is? Well, obviously, I'm known as a defensive guy, but um, I think I got more offense in my game than uh, than my stats show last couple of years, and, and that's definitely something I've been I've been working on. But um, my mindset is always always keeping the keeping our own goal goal clean. Um, but just it's just there's so many details going into it. I want, like how you break the puck, and obviously, if you if you play with the puck, puck like the other team can't score. So there's this defensive defenseman. When, when they when they say that there's a lot more to it than just defending, I think I think com, comes up with breaking out pucks um, uh, and just playing solid ball. You you got to play some offense too. Thanks, Ollie. Welcome to Detroit. Thank you, Ans Arkan. Yeah, hi, uh, Ollie. Uh, just wondering, uh, do you have any uh, connections to the team? Did you talk to anybody who kind of filled you in on what it's like to be here and uh, just the direction that the team's going? Well. I Obviously, Athanasia was a big part. I'm pretty good friends with him, and he he was there for a long time, and he had nothing but good things to say about it. Organization, team wise, the guys in there, the staff, um, and Stetcher was another one. Um, and and just obviously, agent. You talk a lot with your agent, like teams that are available, where you want to go, and and to be honest, I heard nothing bad about Detroit. It it, it was all all great things, and it's like I said before, how exciting the team is. Um, and what they want to, they definitely want to be a contender. So, so like I said, I just want to be part of it. It just felt right. I know we're, we're a long ways away from defense pairs and all that, but uh, I imagine you'll be paired with one of those young uh, uh, right, right-handed D. Just what are your impressions of uh, those guys from what you know, particularly Cider from what you saw him and play against them last year? No, obviously he's, he's placed with an edge, but he has a lot of skill, a lot of offense, but he plays both ways, and uh, I think he's he, he's an awesome player to watch. Um, he's he's already a great player. He's going to be a stud, so it's just exciting, exciting to see that. Um, but they, they already like they have a bunch of other guys too. Um, the young guys they've drafted really well, and I know they they have they have a deep deep group of uh, prospects coming up, and it, it's just I know there's there's guys who's going to step up their game. Thanks, Ollie. Thank you, Ed Colfin. Hey, well, you kind of alluded to it before, but just your all your playoff experience, that's got to help, or that can help a young roster, can it? Um, I hope so. I hope so. Um, you, don't really, you don't really think about it. I think when you come in a new team, always you just want to be yourself uh, and just try to fit in, try to find your spot. Um, so obviously, like, I don't, 
it, it's really tough to tough to say or um, how's that gonna how's that gonna do. But um, I, I think I think me coming in as one of first of all get get to know know the guys better and just just to fit in well. I know it's a little bit of a reach, but just the original whole original six thing is that I mean, are you kind of excited about joining an, joining a team with that type of tradition or in, in history? Oh yeah, of course. I, obviously, everybody watched watch the Red Wings, Red Wings, Red Wings, and for for a long time, how how good they were, um, how dominant they were. Some some of the years, and like me growing up, I, that was a team I wanted to watch every time it was on. We would get one game a month when I was I was young here. <laughs> now it seems like every game's on. So <laughs> now, but it was it was usually actually it was usually Detroit that was on because obviously they were the team everybody wanted to watch and it was it's an exciting time. I I'm excited. I'm excited to have that uniform on. I got to ask. I mean, when you were watching those games as a kid, any wings really stood out for you or anything? Well, Litchum for okay. I'm sure every D man says that, right? There's a lot of yeah. 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 And what, what, what about, what about his game that you just kind of, you know, you enjoyed or liked? Well, what, what do you know? I mean, he, he was su such a good player. Like everything he did, he did it right. I mean, could, could be the def best defenseman ever up there at least. Got, got to be. And it's just everything he, he just didn't do anything really flashy, but like just every little thing he did was right. All, all the details in his game. I think I think he was a great player for everybody to watch and just learn and uh, how to play the game the right way. Sounds good, good stuff. Thanks for this, Ali. Thank you, Kevin Allen. Hi, Ali. Uh, welcome to Detroit. Um, obviously, one of the reasons the Red Wings got you is the fact you've played 500 games in, in the NHL. Does it feel like you're a veteran? Like uh, you know that it uh, doesn't seem all that long ago you were playing for the Penguins. Uh, it's kind of crazy. Um, I, don't really, I don't really feel like I'm... So, sorry, that was a, sorry. I don't really feel like I'm a veteran in that sense because like I, I feel like I have a lot of hockey left in me. I'm, I'm still young. Uh, I got still a lot of a lot of work to do, a lot to a lot to improve on. I know I can I can, I can do it. Um, so just working hard on it, but. Obviously, having having playing that long, it just feels like time flies. It is ninth season gone now, and going into tenth season, but I feel like I still have a lot more left. Obviously, when you come to a new team, uh, uh, you know usually you're new and you got to kind of prove yourself to everyone again. But in this case, it's a new coach, so everyone's in the same boat. Have you thought about that a little bit? And do you kind of appreciate the idea that it's a sort of a blank uh, sheet for everybody? Yeah, I think that that's a good thing. Um, I think getting a getting a whole new coaching staff is always always a good thing. Everybody starts in the same same level, and you you got to earn your spot. Um, not to say that that obviously you, you have your you have your star players, so you have a little bit, but like well, like it always gives you a little bit of fresh start. But I think one of the things I obviously talked a lot about the new coaching staff and that too, and everybody was really excited about that too, and I that made me. That was one of the reasons I wanted want to come. I, I heard um, that coaching staff really good. Thank you. Colleen St. James. Hi, Ali. Uh, you've moved around a bit in the past few seasons. How much do you see this opportunity maybe to kind of gain a foothold and turn a, a one-year deal into a, a longer relationship with the Wings? Yeah, I think that's a big part of it. Um, I Honestly, got to be honest with myself. Where, where I'm at, last couple of seasons haven't haven't been that great, great, that great, but haven't really been that big of a disaster either. But like, I I know I got a lot more in me. I think this is a great opportunity to show that I, I do have a lot, lot more. I can, I can play in this league, league for a long time, and even in a bigger role than I've had in the last couple of seasons. Uh, and uh, that that was one of the reasons I wanted to come to Detroit because like, I I do hardly believe in. I do believe in that when the team's good and everything everything clicks, everybody just looks looks better. Um, and it's a, like I said many times before, it's an exciting team. It's a good team to be in. Having a new coaching staff, uh, having that really good organization where you have the culture culture that everybody wants to win. I think that's a big piece. 
And how would you describe yourself when you're at the top of your game? No, I think it's just, there's nothing flashy to it, but it's just, it's a solid, and it, go, it goes both ways, offense and defense. I can, I can play, I don't like I, I touched on it before, and all my stats are last two years and being that good, but like, I still, I know I got more offense in my game, game than I, than I have been. Um, but at the same time, I think the first mentality, I, I go out there and keep keep my own goal clean. And lastly, you, you mentioned Nicholas Littrum. Have you, have you talked to him at all or? I, I actually haven't met him. I, he retired the year, the year before I got in the league. So I actually never got to play against him either. So that was, I was kind of sad about that. I remember that pretty well. A lot of people in Detroit, uh, with well, the Detroit Red Wings were sad too when he retired. So <laughs> thanks a lot. <laughs> thank you for your time. Thank you. All right. Those are all the questions we had. Oli, thank you so much for your time this afternoon.